Merhaba, benim adım Mehmet. Senin adın ne? Ve nasılsın? Hi, my name is Mehmet. What is yours? And how are you? Nasılsın? So, today we will learn some super useful, super common phrases that you might hear very often in daily life. And you might also need to use them because they are very common um, very functional some of them are used in many different situations um, so yes these are all of them um, a, a big part of daily life conversations a small chats or uh, a, a greeting maybe so let's see how it goes Okay then, let's start. We are going to start with Günaydın. Günaydın means good morning. It comes from Gün and Aydın. Gün means day and Aydın means bright, um, shiny or sunny maybe. So when you say Günaydın, you basically wish that person to have a bright day, a nice day, a, a a shiny day. So, good morning, United. Um, the second one is the synonyms of United. E sabahlar, which also means good morning. And E means good, and sabah means morning, and lar is plural. Um, I have covered these plural suffixes in one of my videos. You can go check them first if you haven't seen them yet. Um, so we make it plural because in Turkish we say good mornings, good days, good evenings, good nights. We say them, we tell them plural. Um, so i means good, sabah means morning, lar means mornings, good mornings, and yeah, günaydın or iyi sabahlar, they both mean um, good morning. Next one, iyi günler, we already said what gün means, gün means day, so here you say good day, good days, we literally say actually, um, iyi, good, gün means Day and days. İyi günler. Have a good day. Have a nice day. And next one. Good evening. İyi is the same. Good. Lar is plural. So akşam means evening. Good evenings we say. Good evening. İyi akşamlar. İyi akşamlar good evening and the next one is good night because gece means night good nights we say as always we make it plural good night iyi geceler iyi geceler okay and next one is good afternoon tünaydın this is a weird one because Tune actually means night in kind of old Turkish uh, Tune means night so when you say Tunaydın you wish someone to have a bright night actually well it was supposed to be but uh, we say Günaydın and we mean good afternoon maybe night starts afternoon like you know um, it starts getting darker, maybe that's why we say it. Um, but yeah, Aydın, bright, tün, although tün means night in all Turkish, uh, it means good afternoon. Tünaydın, tünaydın. Okay. Um, next one is super common and super useful because we use this in many different situations. It literally means you wish 
held to someone's hand, literally hands. You say like, I wish hell to your hand, which sounds super weird, right? Um, so why, we, why do we say that? We say this um, usually when someone does something nice for us by using hands, using their hands. Uh, it can be any kind of work, any kind of activity, like uh, um, someone serve you food, uh, someone cook for you, someone clean your house, like doing the dishes, um, any kind of other houseworks, um, or someone did your homework, your older sister maybe, or someone helped you to move out to a new apartment, any kind of thing actually. Uh, you can say Eline Salk. And again, it literally means held to someone's hand. So we can say this is just another way of thanking someone. You can say Teşekkür ederim or Teşekkürler or Saul or Saulun is both four of them means thank you. Or you can say eline sağlık, or you can say both. Teşekkür ederim, eline sağlık. Eline sağlık, teşekkür ederim. So, this is kind of thank you. Um, next one. Um, next one means enjoy your food. In English, they say enjoy your food. In Turkish, we say afiyet olsun. And it literally means you literally um, wish health to that person because afiyet means health and also is like let it be or um, may it be healthy uh, helpful for you like this is literal translation and in English you say uh, they say um, get no you don't say get person they, they say um, enjoy your food and this one also very common because we can say it before the food before eating during eating after eating for example someone said um, I had some like I had a lunch in that place today it was already in the past but I can still say afiyet also because um, because I'm kind of saying, I hope that will be healthy for you. That will be good for your health. Or during the meal, someone says, um, like, wow, this is very nice, very delicious. And then you can say, afiyet olsun. Like, good to know, enjoy it. Um, afiyet olsun. And after, the, after eating, and before, also before, we talk about after, before also, let's say, I'm saying, I'm gonna have dinner tonight with my friends, and the other person says, good, afiyet olsun. So, this is during, before, or after the meal, also not only for food, you can say it for drinks, um, or even for smoking, someone is smoking, you can say afiyet olsun. Obviously, it's not very healthy, but well, you can still say it. So, any kind of thing that you consume, that someone consumes, you can say afiyet olsun. And these two usually goes together. Um, when you're a guest in someone's house, for example, um, you were invited for a dinner and you eat it after the dinner you say Eline sağlık because that person cooked for you you say Eline sağlık teşekkür ederim and that person the, the housekeeper says afiyet olsun the host says afiyet olsun like I'm glad you like it afiyet olsun or during the meal you just taste it and it tastes really nice and you can say this is really good, eline sağlık. And the host says, afiyet olsun. Okay? So, very common and useful, especially these two. And the next one is kolay gelsin. Kolay means easy. 
Well, you can guess what it means. Because kolay means easy, and yalsin is something like may it come easy for you, to you. It's kind of saying good luck. And you can also use this one for any kind of work, any kind of thing that person does. Like for working, studying, cooking, washing dishes, cleaning, um, like making a presentation or any kind of work. You can say kolay gelsin. Um, you can even say it for someone who is just lying down and doing nothing. So this is like in a, um, you want to tease them say because lying down should be really difficult and you say kolay gelsin it must be really difficult like you are teasing them in a funny way. Um, so yes, kolay gelsin, kind of good luck. Um, the last one on this line here is affedersin or affedersiniz. This one is singular or informal and this one is plural or formal. Plural means if you say affedersiniz, it means you either address to a group of people or to someone, only one person, but in a formal relationship. And affedersin is singular or one person only or in a more informal situation. And it means excuse me, affedersin or affedersiniz. On the street, for example, you are looking for some you know, some place, and you can say, like, Afedersin is, how can I go, whatever you want, you need to go. So, Afedersin is on the street to someone that you don't know at all. Afedersin is, is more proper. That will be a formal uh, conversation. Um, yeah, Afedersin, Afedersin is. Excuse me. Okay. Um, in the middle part, we have teşekkür ederim, teşekkürler, sağ olun, or sağ ol. I have an arrow here, goes from top to bottom. That means, this is the list of uh, thank you from the most formal to the least formal. So teşekkür ederim is the most formal way of thanking someone. And you can say teşekkürler. This is literally like, because this is plural suffix. So this one is like, thanks. And the next one, sağ olun. Less formal than these two. And sağ ol is the least formal. But all of them, is like um, thank you and this one by the way eline sağlık I said this is another way of thanking someone but this is more like informal situations very close relationships someone that you know your friend relatives but usually you don't say this to your boss or to your professor or someone like your superior um, in that um, formal situations, you might want to prefer teşekkür ederim, is the most formal one. And rica ederim, you are welcome. Rica ederim. Teşekkür ederim, rica ederim. And this one, you can use it like in both formal and informal situations. Um, yeah. Let's jump to this part from here, this one, this one, and this one. So I said this one can be uh, formal or informal, right? If it's an informal situation, when someone says teşekkür ederim, teşekkürler, or sağ ol, these three are very informal answers. You can say önemli değil which means not important. 
This one means not, and önemli means important. So you say, you, you say like, the pers that person says, you are welcome. And, you know, actually, sorry, this is not for Rijayadirim, sorry. This is your welcome, right? Uh, so this from Teşekkür Ederim, you can use. So when someone says teşekkür ederim, thank you, you can say önemli değil, important not. It is not important. It was the least I could do, like no worries, mm, no need to mention, önemli değil. Okay, and next one will be sorun değil. Sorun is like problem, a trouble, a problem. So when someone says teşekkür ederim and you can say sorun değil, uh, no problem. Or you can say yok, sorun yok, sorun değil or sorun yok. Sorun değil means no problem, sorun yok means there is no problem. It's also another way like you're welcome. Yok literally means there is not doesn't exist. So, sorun değil, sorun yok. And problem değil, pro problem, just like problem in English, problem değil, no problem, or problem yok. There is no problem. Um, so yes, these three, actually one is five options are informal ways of saying you're welcome no worries don't worry um, but this one can be formal or informal rejected okay let's go back to this part görüşürüz görüşürüz means see you it comes from the verb görmek görmek means to see um, and there are three suffixes here I will mention them very shortly. This suffix makes it mutual, makes the verbs mutual. Görüşmek means to see each other. Only görmek, to see. Görüşmek means to see each other. This suffix makes the verbs mutual. And this one is simple present tense suffix. And this one means we. So, it literally means we see each other. See you. Okay? And görüşmek üzere, another way, another option for görüşürüz also means see you. Görüşmek, to see each other. Üzere is like it's kind of with the intention of to see each other. That's the literal meaning, literal meaning. But uh, there's no need to go that much, you know, in detail. So it's basically another way of saying see you. And you can add a time word here before görüşürüz or before görüşmek üzere. A time word or a place word, you can say sonra görüşürüz, see you later, sonra means later, sonra görüşürüz, or you can say sonra görüşmek üzere, or you can say yarın, which means tomorrow, yarın görüşürüz, see you tomorrow, sabah görüşürüz, what was sabah here? morning so see you in the morning sabah görüşürüz or cuma görüşürüz see you in school see you at school uh what no school sorry cuma means friday so cuma görüşürüz is uh see you on friday okay um i said school because you can also say um, like yarın okulda okulda görüşürüz 
See you tomorrow at school. Okulda means at school. Um, or let's say konserde. Konserde at the concert. Like let's say Juma konserde görüşürüz. Friday at the concert. See you. Okay. So you can add time or place uh, before görüşürüz or görüşmek üzere. Okay, so this part. Pardon. Pardon is like international. Pardon, like sorry. Üzgünüm. Üzgün means sad or sorry. Sad or sorry. And U M makes it I am. I am sad or I am sorry. So it lit is um, it either literally means I am sad, not in a good mood, or it means I am sorry for what I did. Um, and the other one is özür dilerim, is like I apologize. So between these three, this is the uh, this is for very small mistakes. For example, you step on someone's feet accidentally um, you can say pardon üzgünüm is like in the middle um, maybe a little bit more serious things and özür dilerim is the most formal and the most uh, the, the strongest one let's say for very important serious situations um, for example, you did something terrible, like really terrible. If you say pardon, it's it sounds like, you know, it makes that person even more angry. <laughs> because that you did something terrible and you just say pardon. Like, are you kidding me? Like, but özür dilerim is like very, um, let's say, more serious, let's say. So from these three, for small mistakes, for a little serious mistakes, and for the most serious mistakes, you can use these three. And we already talked about this one, these three. Ball chance, the next one. Ball chance. Chance means luck. And ball means a lot of. So you say a lot of luck. Just just like saying good luck. A lot of luck. Good luck. Or here, remember I said this one is like another way of saying good luck. So you can say kolay gelsin. Ball chance. You can use them together as well. Because one of them wishing easiness with something another one is literally luck so you can use kolay gelsin and ball chance one after another use them together or you can just use one and another one iyi şanslar iyi you know what iyi means good all of them here good and this one luck and this one, lux, plural again, because we say good lux. We don't say good luck, we say good lux. So, all chance, e chancellor, polar gas. Um, next one, candine, e buck. Candine, yourself. This one means yourself. İyi, we already know, means good. Bak is like to look or to look after. So it's like look after good yourself. Look after yourself well. Which means take care. Kendine iyi bak. Take care. And the other one, the other option for this Kendine dikkat et. Also, is like take care. Dikkat etmek is two. 
the verb ikkat etmek to be careful or to watch out mm, yeah basically uh, be careful about yourself about your health like or watch out yourself so it's like be careful but not really be careful it means take care take a good care of yourself okay and yes I guess we talk about all of them um, so if there is anything else that I skip I forgot to mention you can uh, type on comments and I can uh, you know explain that one too um, this is all for today